Hello, Ali Patterson here, back with another episode of The Paytech Show. This week, we've got our head in the cloud as ACI Worldwide's Kieran Chu takes us through the benefits of cloud technology in the cross-border payment space. We also sit down with Peter Hazu, Microsoft's Director of Business Development in Financial Services. He gave us a lowdown on their tech partnership with ACI and their plans for cloud for now and in the future. We're here at Cybos 2019. You've just been on a panel with uh, Craig Ramsey and others, uh, talking really about uh, innovation and cloud. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Well, I think the interesting thing, there's, there's really a revolution uh, underway in payments. I mean, there's no secret about that. The fundamentals have changed in the payments business. And I think banks are, as the traditional providers of payments, as a franchise of activity, are under a lot of pressure. They're under a lot of pressure uh, because of new competitors, particularly non-bank financial institutions that are born in the cloud and have the benefits of uh, the cloud economics, agility, and all the tools that go with it, particularly around data, AI, and machine learning as a way to have better understanding about data and their clients and provide better services. So the revolution that's underway in payments is banks need to think about how they address their traditional franchise. The fundamentals of the business model are changing. Uh, client expectations are completely different, and that's across the board. One could argue that the revolution began with the smartphone, 10 years ago only invented, but it changed completely the customer experience. So I think the um, advent of mobile technology, probably over the last decade, particularly with mobile telephones, has led to a big uh, overhaul of our core business, which is obviously retail payments and real-time payments. And what we're basically seeing in the market is more and more demand for real-time experiences. So consumers expect an instant experience. Um, and what that means is our clients in the banking and merchant sector also expect a more real-time experience, as well as having a more uh, succinct architectural approach. So what we are doing is we are responding to that demand, leveraging the public cloud to ensure that clients can go from having monolithic systems, which might have a very high compliance uh, and regulatory overhead, and we actually break that system down and automate it using the cloud so that we can transform the client and the customer's customer's experience uh, into a more instantaneous and customer-led uh, experience. Next, we wanted to learn more about the way companies have been working together in the cloud technology ecosystem. One thing that the cloud offer offers is that ability to partner and form part of yes. an ecosystem. Yeah. Can you tell us about what banks are doing at the moment uh, with yourself and kind of connecting with the ecosystem? Yeah, so I think one of the big themes that we've we've obviously seen in Cybos and Money 2020 is the rise in open banking. And what that really is underpinned by is, is APIs. Um, so if you think about how your experience might have worked before, um, banks would have really been focused on, on a long development cycle. Customers are looking for instant gratification. So what that basically means is banks are now looking more and more to partner with maybe the front end uh, fintech who provides that customer experience overlay. By using APIs, they can connect in and ensure that the customer experience is far more enriched because you've got the fintech doing the front end, uh, customer experience piece and the bank really providing security and scalability at the back end. The days of banks running heavy systems on big iron in data centers is really transforming very rapidly. It's really becoming a platform business. And Microsoft, of course, through our cloud Azure is a platform for the industry. Uh, it's a compliant platform. So we've had a lot of focus in helping companies like ACI because we've done the work with the regulators to ensure that banks can uh, meet their compliance uh, requirements. So as a platform in this transformation of the business model, the cloud is quite important. Banks much more are looking to be agile. They need to reduce the cost of total cost of ownership um, and the cloud does afford all that. But the cloud is not just this great data center in the sky. Uh, the cloud is really um, a platform, um, a smart platform um, with many tools in the intelligent cloud that can help both banks, but especially uh, partners like ACI. We've got a great partnership with ACI uh, and we support them in their, uh, their goal and objectives of also providing services that clients that are highly relevant to clients as they look to upgrade and modernize their processes to better suit their clients. So the cloud is a fundamental platform in, in helping to achieve that. We are in an interesting 
world at the moment where yeah. you have organizations that didn't exist 10 years ago. Yeah. All of a sudden, you could argue, Alipay, for example, are the biggest banks in the world. Yeah. You have also in the UK, you've got Bank of San Monzo, yeah. three million in three years, very, very fast scale. Yeah. So how do you enable currently very small organizations to be able to scale up very quickly when it comes to real-time payments? So I think the, uh, the theme over the next, uh, the last 10 years of digital challenges has been a, a real triumph for consumers <clears throat> because what I think we've actually seen is you've, by using the cloud capabilities and mobile technology, you've lowered the entry for new providers. So ultimately that's a good thing for consumers. I think for a company like ACI with our real-time focus, what we're really looking to leverage is the fact that cloud provision allows you to actually optimize and automate your process. So that means that we can take all of our um, different payment connectivities, which is what we're known as, as the every payment, any possibility company, and really then leverage the cloud to automate that deployment. So it means that as well as customers expecting a real-time experience or consumers expecting a real-time experience, our clients can actually um, meet that expectation through ACI technology by being able to deploy it in a more effective and automated manner using the cloud. It's a game changer, and I don't mean because it's real time. It's not about being faster. Real time payments is about the potential of new business models. Banks need to continue to fight for relevance with their clients. Of course, in today's data economy, data culture, payments need to settle instantly, but it's still not about that. It's about the new business models of their clients that they need to serve. It's about new products that will be built on the back of real-time payments. The banking industry is focusing a lot on the obvious near-term issues around real-time payments like real-time fraud. And by the way, ACI has fantastic solutions around real-time fraud and data insights uh, and proactive risk management for real-time payments. Those are important as a hygiene factor and how banks can process in a safe way real-time payments in the cloud. For example, cloud is available 24-7, 365. But really, I think the challenge for banks is what do they do with real-time payments from a proposition point of view, from a proposition development point of view. The reality of who's competing for payments, these big ecosystems, these big uh, global fintech companies, etc. the reality of who's competing for payments today has got a very different view of the potential of real-time payments. So banks should not approach this in a very traditional way of just being faster. Self-evidently, they are faster. It's really about what can be developed by way of proposition. And we'll be keeping an eye on those developments through 2020 and beyond. But that's all for this episode of The Paytech Show. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you can watch the rest of the series and much more at fintech.finance. See you next time.